call the meeting to order. Um, and uh, one of the things about having somebody join electronically is that we need to do things vocally or, or uh, by roll call. Um, so I think it'll make it easy just for attendance and also Frank, so you know who's here. Um, Bill, are you, are you present? I'm here. It's <laughs> PCC. Uh, of course, my uh, system's not working here. Uh, Denise? Here. And Ted? Here. Emily? Here. Paul? Here. Kim? Here. Michelle? Here. Nancy? Here. Charlie? Here. Jody is not here and she's traveling. Excuse me. Sewer District 1. Thank you. And Frank is. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, also, just had to make sure that everybody can hear you, and so Caroline is over in the in the seated area, and she could hear you when we when we have you on speaker. So everything should be up to snuff, and and you should be able to vote. Um, so. Circulated the minutes um, from the um, I'm behind on minutes, so if anybody's wondering, but it did circulate the minutes from the ninth. Does anybody have any questions or comments on those, or a motion to with regard to those minutes? The ninth was when we voted to bring the, the operating budget to the to the uh, hearing. Move to accept the minutes. Second. Emily moves to accept. Second is by Nancy. Nancy down. Any discussion? All right. I didn't set this up with a with a full voting box, which I guess I have to do. Bear with me. All the all the other articles are set up that way. Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kim? Yes. Mike, Michelle? Mike, Sorry. Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading slower than I was not there. So You're I not there, so I'm staying. Uh, Nancy? Yes. Charlie? Yes. Jody is not here. Frank? Yes. <coughs> and, and I do. So that, that's passed. Did you ask Paul? No. Oh, yes. yes. Sorry, I missed it. Yeah. I put an X in for him, but. All right. Uh, I know I'm behind on, on the minutes. I will catch up. Um, I don't know whether we should maybe have a meeting uh, at some point to just accept all the minutes after the fact, or we can just put them in as draft and be good with it. First of all, we have a meeting. Okay, good. That, that, uh, that's all I had on, on the minutes. My, my next item I had was on the water and sewer uh, warrant articles. We already um, voted to recommend the operating budget for water and sewer uh, during the, the uh, right after the hearing. Um, do we have any a motion on the Article Three? I think is the first one. Or motion accept as written. Second. Second. The hard copies make that letter. Wait, well, somewhat this Let's way. Go. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a bottleneck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I to write down in a second. I did. And any discussion? Prepare to vote then. Uh, again, by roll call, a bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Uh, Kim?
Kim? I'm going to abstain since I don't live in the district and I'm not impacted by this budget. Okay. Michelle? Yes. Uh, Nancy? I'm going to abstain because I don't live in the district. Okay. Charlie? I'm going to abstain because I don't live in the district. Jody's not here. And Frank? Yes. <laughs> and uh, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yeses and one, two, three uh, abstains. So I will abstain and the motion or the uh, motion passes. Article four. So we have a motion on that. Motion to accept. Second. So motion to accept by Denise. Uh, second by Phil. Any discussion? Okay. Uh, again, roll call, Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. <coughs> Kim, are you going to abstain again? Uh, uh, I'll vote yes on that. Yes. Uh, Michelle? Yes. Uh, Nancy? Abstain. Charlie? Abstain. Jody's not here. Frank? So yes. Yes. And I'll abstain and it passes. And just as a point of order, can I ask why you would abstain on one and not the other? Um, because I believe we should be investing in infrastructure. Okay, but you're not in the district. Right. I think ultimately, can't the town eventually have responsibility should the district go away at some point? I find it odd that you would vote for one that <clears throat> All right. Um, just for clarification, I, I believe that we should just generally, you know, whether it's a culvert out on Slider Road or it's on water system in town, um, I, I just feel that we should invest in infrastructure. So it's more of a general decision. Okay. Article 5 is sewer. Uh, do I have a motion? I'll make a motion that we uh, recommend it. Motion to uh, recommend. Second by anybody? I'll second it. Paul? Uh, any discussion? Okay, Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kim? Yes. Michelle? Yes. Nancy? Abstain. Charlie? Abstain. Frank? Yes. And I'll abstain and the, and the motion passes. That's all we had for town and sewer, uh, town, town water and sewer uh, articles. Um, so we can move on to the town. Um, do we have uh, an uh, I set up my notes just to go in the same order, so the operating budget is first. Um, the warrants. So, uh, do we have a motion on the uh, town operating budget? Motion to recommend. Do we have a second? Second. Uh, how about discussion on that? Uh, so my my question, I have a question um, to Denise at the select board. Um, did they even consider using the equipment fund to offset some of those costs? I'll refer to well, we, we, we'll, we can. We'll, um, we'll recognize uh, Carolyn. At the time the warrant and the capital items were considered, no. At the public hearing, you all saw Suzanne bring to everybody's attention the money in that other fund. By that time, it was too late to modify the warrant because it's already gotten to the public hearing part in the process. So by that point, the board could not make the decision to change the warrant. The money items mm -hmm. in that way. Public hearing, right, we'd have to have another public hearing and then it wouldn't be time for that. Okay. okay. And my understanding, it might be possible to do it from a citizen at SB2 hearing. At the deliberative, deliberative session, session, somebody could make a motion on the floor, potentially, um, with a second and approval of an amendment to that article. 
Which article? Because it doesn't exist. It won't exist unless... Well, it, 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 you would have to pick an article. What do you want to fund? What do you want to offset with that revenue? So you'd have to pick something, like you suggested in your email, radios. You can't pick a, an article in and of itself and create an article for this to fund what? So, so you're only going to fund... So only the select board or petition can get something on the warrant. So that's off the table. But also it would not be appropriate for it to be a standalone article because an article like funds something with what kind of revenue is an offset. So all the articles are there for proposed purchases and projects. So my suggestion to you if you wanted to do this is to pick one, say radios, and propose an amendment to that article on the floor adding this as a revenue source. I see what you're saying. <clears throat> so, um, so not necessarily adding new warrant to... Um, you to, can't. To use it to fund um, radios and, say, highway equipment, but modify the radio warrant to use that. Correct, because those articles already exist. It's too late, and this board doesn't have the authority to put an article on the warrant. So at this point, Sorry, Frank, lost your back. So, so at this point, you you as a resident could pick an article that you want to fund in this way, and 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 yep. propose an amendment to um, and further to um, authorize the withdrawal of X number of dollars from this fund for this purpose. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense to me because we couldn't have added um, a new warrant at that point without having that public hearing. Right. What Denise is saying. Right. And so I understand what you're saying. So potentially modify an existing warrant, like the radio warrant, um, to use the equipment or something. Right. Okay. So, so to be clear, the one document is called the warrant, and the individual items on the warrant are called, all called articles. Yep. So um, th there's one caveat to this, which is that I suggest that you do your homework with regard to when that fund was created. Because, um, for example, if that is an equipment fund, but was the original warrant by which that fund was created for highway equipment and you're proposing it for a fire purpose, that wouldn't be, re you know, so that would put the moderator in a difficult position whereby he might not feel as though it's a legal revision without knowing that it's a legal use right. of that fund. Yep, no, I understand that. So, but we should have minutes somewhere on... All the minutes are in the town reports in the subsequent year from the year in which something happened. Okay. And you can Google them. Mm -hmm. They're all online for you and H. If you put in New Hampshire, uh, Rollinsford, New Hampshire Town Report 2016 or something, you can yeah. get a link and it's pretty easy. Some of them are available, some of them aren't. There are only two years, I think, that are not available. Yeah, I was only able to find up to 2012. Mm -hmm. but, but, uh, and even then, there were really? a few gaps. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. That's all I found. Yeah, we have them all here. here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, any further discussion on the town operating budget? No. Um, I, I just have one more comment on the operating budget. Um, so I, I'm personally concerned that um, we're kind of rounding up now on almost $600,000 in increases in operating budget, um, in this operating budget in the last five years. Um, and so I'm concerned that, that we as a committee and probably the, the select board and not just this one, but select boards and department heads haven't really um, thought about the impact um, of, you know, of all these increases. You know, $600,000 in five years is a lot on a community. Um, so, you know, I, I just feel like we're not doing um, a good enough job um, considering the taxpayers and we're very focused on the needs of the employees and, and the, the town as a whole, well, I'll say town hall and the associated departments, but um, I don't feel like we're really considering taxpayers when we're talking about another, you know, two hundred thousand dollar increase this year. That's all I have to say about that. Other, thanks, Kim. Other discussion. Okay, are we ready? Ready for a vote then? Um, Bill. Yes. Denise. Yes. Ed. No. Uh, Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kim? No. Uh, Michelle? Yes. 
Um, Nancy? No. Charlie? No. Jody's not here. Frank? <laughs> Frank, you there? Uh, he just lost them. Stop pacing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, right. All have been forwarded to an automatic voice message. He's still listening. <laughs> um, let's see. So far we have one, two, three, four, five yeses and four no's and no's going. Hi, Frank. Yes. <laughs> yes, before I lose you again. I love it. <laughs> So we have six, four, and four. Um, I will abstain since the motion passes. <coughs> um, article eight is the plow truck. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion that uh, we recommend. Bill motions to recommend. Second. Second. Michelle. Discussion? I got one quick question. Uh, on the 14th of February at a select board meeting, the town resident says, did you look into changing the size of that dump truck and put a smaller bed on it? Was that ever thought of? I think it has more than just the dump truck, but I, I mean, it's clear that it was overbuilt. For yeah, we know that. So. I, they brought it to two people to look it over and they confirmed that it was not the right. And so if we did that, I guess the answer is no. Okay. We didn't at the select board meeting discuss it. But, I mean, I don't think it's the right way to go because we're going to cause another isn't. problem going down the road and it'll end up costing us far more and then still have to replace it. So, something that I my heard. opinion. Yeah. And I, I don't have an opinion, but something that I heard uh, was that there were engine issues as well. Um, you know, so if the, if the engine is on its way out, that's probably another indication that because it's hauling too much. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Did we get any? Um, who, who were the two people that um, looked at the truck? City of Dover and Nixon South Berwick. Okay. Did we get a written opinion on the state of those vehicles, or did he put something in? I, I think he had some, something. I mean, not in a fit, not in a fit, because we weren't looking for um, repair. We were looking for consultation of what they were finding with, by evaluating the truck, if they could make another gear was one of the things. Um, but no, we good. asked for that, and, and that was not provided. Yeah, yeah. But with Nick, anyway, I'm not sure. About not, Dover. Yeah. Did he ask about Dover? I, I don't know that he asked Dover, okay. but Nick did not but provide we, Yeah, they did not want to provide. Um, but Permanent yeah. documents, so to say, but, um, but they did agree that the truck had some issues. So, so nothing in writing that this truck is, has to be replaced, and what the issues are with it. Well, the truck, well, the truck was supposed to be replaced last year, and we deferred it for a year. So, I, it, it's going to have to be replaced sooner or later because, I mean, it it is up for the the expectation of the truck being. Um, out of its years of service, so to say. Um, but no, I mean, there is useful life for that truck, as um, both of them had confirmed. What? In a flat area rather than well, a hill. Yeah, I was going to get to that. Yeah. You know, in a place where there isn't any hills and not carrying the load, like a mobile home park or something, they're <laughs> thinking that, you know, there certainly is some good trade to it for that purpose only, not for hilly roads like Rollinsville has. So is the intent to sell it? I think we talked about that, and then I think it is not not to trade it, but to sell it, because you wouldn't get as much on on the trade. Um, we have to put it out for bid, not actually, right? We have to bid it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm sure that we don't have to accept a bid if it's Correct. not close to where our, where we're expecting it to be, and we can put it out again, you know, or whatever. But yeah, that's that's the because um, he, he wasn't going to get much on a trade. He told us, didn't he? 
mean, it, it always a, has a lesser of a, it has yeah. less of a value as a trade. Right. But he gave it a current value of twenty thousand dollars, approximately. To sell it. Or to sell it. it. Yeah, but it, it was much less. For a trade. To trade it. Yes. So we feel like that we're going to sell it off before trading. So there's not really a plan at this point. What you're going to do with that vehicle? Not a concrete plan. Well, yes, we're going to sell it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to keep it, if that's what your question mm -hmm. is. We're not keeping it as another piece of equipment on top of the new one that they're buying. It's going to go one way or the other. Okay. Any other discussion on the Article 8? Ready for a vote? Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? I'm going to abstain. Okay. Um, Kim? I'm going to abstain as well. Uh, Michelle? Yes. <coughs> Nancy? No. Uh, Charlie? No. Frank? Yes. That is one, two, three, four, five, six um, yeses. One, uh, two no's, and one, two, three abstains, so the motion passes. I um, meant to say, four abstains, because all abstains, since the motion passes. Six, two, three. Sorry, but is that what? All right, that's what I got, too. I, I trust you. I think you're right. I just was looking quickly. Came up to 12 now. Um, okay, uh, article, sorry? Article 10. Nine. Article 9, nine. nine. police cruiser. Mm -hmm. Oops, missed one. Do we have a motion on that one? Motion to accept. Second. Second by Nancy. Discussion? Yes. You have this discuss this one? This is on the, on the cruiser, right? Yes. yes. Explain the payments. It's supposed to be thirty-four thousand plus another thirteen. No. Well, it, it's so the total cost of the vehicle is thirty-four. Like the retail, we were going to buy it right now. It's a thirty-four thousand dollar car only. So the first year lease payment is thirteen plus thirteen for equipment. So in the first year, you're paying thirteen for the lease plus thirteen for equipment. 25 of which is coming from CIP. Okay. So 1,000 in taxes. Okay, that's it now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nancy? So that means that the next two years will be 13. Correct. Other questions on the police cruiser article? Article 9? Ready for a vote? Um, Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Uh, Kim? Yes. Michelle? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Charlie? Yes. yes. Jody? Not here, sorry. <laughs> Frank? Keep jumping in. And uh, I will stay in. It passes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, Article 10 is the message board. Move to accept. Second. Move to recommend by Bill and second by Nancy. Uh, any discussion? Just Michelle. clarifying, if I remember right, there was a grant, but it was only for half. Is that correct? No, yeah. it's not. Been, they haven't been awarded the grant yet. But it was. It, it wasn't half. It was 50 it was 50, half. right? Right. It, so it's applied the 23,800 yeah. is the total price. Right. Because we have to authorize the total price because if we don't get the grant, we got to pay the 20, right. um, 23,800. So, um, but the, they've applied for it, but I don't know if we'll hear in time before the public, um, before the. Um, Delivered session, so you have to authorize for the whole amount. Can I ask a question? Sure. 
No. <laughs> what, what exactly? Uh, why do we need this sign? Like, what, I did. I, I think when it was brought up, it was sort of this is what it'll be used for. But what's the need for this? Well, sign? they they borrow local cities and towns, or I'm not quite sure. I know that. They, Dover or Summersworth has one. I, I think from Summersworth they've been borrowing it, and or, or from somewhere, but it's it broke or something, or yes. there's something wrong so that we're not borrowing it currently. But it's trying to curb the speeding. If you see the flashing light, I think they're trying to just kind of, it's like a warning system to say you got to bring it. So this is also a radar. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it's, it's a message so, for. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. So bad language. That, that language. I don't know if it's too late. To it's not too it. late. You can add that. But that language, uh, med, you know, s speed enforcement. I, I guess I would recommend we check with the chief um, because it should be it should be clear what it is, not just a message board. You know, saying meeting today. It's this is a, yes. uh, speed enforcement. So it, it's used for speed enforcement plus as a bonus. We can also use it for Messages. general purpose yes. messaging. So I, I think that's important to let the voters know. So, so you mean just because that it tracks your, your speed right now, but it doesn't have something that takes a picture of your license plate? Oh, no, no, no. no. Just, <laughs> well, no, it would be nice right then. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. I wish. So, because it tracks your speed and yeah, kind of warns no, the people. There's no tracking on this, but if I, no. if I understand so, these correctly, and again, I would defer to the chief, it will record the speeds, not the individual vehicles, yes. but you can get a printout that says over this period of time, yep. 24 vehicles were going 25 over and so on and so forth, but it does not specifically identify the vehicles. That's yeah. my understanding. Yeah, because yeah. that's the one that we use in summers with. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it also will. Heritage, everybody was going over the speed limit on that. Yeah. Long road. Yeah, had I seen that, oh, I would no, have asked the question. <laughs> it, it's really an interesting conversation because as much as he presented that to the board and the, the budget committee, he never really, you know, he talked about its functionality. Yeah. So you're right, but he always called it a message board, yeah. which is, I, I agree with you, yeah. a bit misleading. Yeah. So right. do we need a consensus from this board that it's okay to change that? We're not changing a dollar amount, no. so we probably can change it because they're not changing the dollars. The intent okay. is the same, okay. you know? It's fine. But it should be cleared. Yes. Got it. Yeah. What, exactly what it is. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Just a question. Can I just point out that there's a typo? The last word says propose instead of propose. Thank you. Yep. I appreciate that. No Any other discussion on uh, Article 10? Now, if we don't get the grant, we're still buying it, right? Because you're authorizing to spend right. 23 8, yes. Mm -hmm. Though the board can choose not to. We can choose not yeah, to, right. but you are authorizing it. Right. Yes. Are we ready for a vote? Uh, Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? I was going to vote against this no in my narrow interpretation, but the way you explained it now, since it's also dual purpose, I will support it. Great. Emily? No. Paul? No. Uh, Kim? Yes. Michelle? No. Uh, Nancy? Yes. Charlie? Yes. Uh, Frank? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was clear. <coughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six yeses and one, two, three, four noes. I'll abstain and the motion carries. Article 11, Town Hall Boiler. Do we have a motion? Motion except as written. Charlie? Second. Second by uh, Emily. Any discussion? What are the issues with Crow Boiler? Lack of heat. <laughs> it's over 30 years old. Yeah, 30, 30 years, years old. old. It, it's working now, but the thing, thought is that it's not going to work at some point. It has a hole in it. <laughs> and it's not working well. No, it's not. Clearly, you can feel it here, and some of them are really cold. It doesn't, doesn't push it up in my bottom. I don't know. Just, it has its issues for sure. How much have we spent maintenance on it in the last year? <clears throat> I don't think we, offhand I don't know, 
Um, we did replace the pump. It has two pumps, and we replaced at least one of them, but I thought that was, it might have been in 17 and not 18. I think it just received, uh, honestly, I, I, I don't want to misspeak, so I, I don't know. You know, they, we asked what kind of boiler that they were replacing with, it with, and it's an industrial one, correct? Or um, it is in, in some way fit for this building. Fit for this says. building, which is the one downstairs is not. That is true. I went downstairs as residential, isn't it? So have we gotten an estimate on what it would cost to repair it, um, just to extend its life for another year or so until we figure out what's going on with this building? What's the figure on what this building? Well, there's no, I don't see any article for a police station this year, so we're talking this year, not next year, so I'm just saying. Come back up next year. Good. Being that there's a hole in it, I'm not sure that that's something that you can actually repair properly. Could uh, we just mold it? No, mold. I would say probably not. No, because it could end up blowing. That's what happened to my next door neighbor. I think and you got to clean the whole building. Mm -hmm. If if we did move to another facility. Um, this one would still be a facility that, I mean, it's not like we're going to tear it down, and so the value is going to be significantly diminished if there's no boiler or working boiler, I would think. Maybe the cost might not, the cost might not offset exactly, but um, it seems like it would be needed. I mean, in a year or two, if someone, if it comes up from the police station, has anybody figured out what's going to happen to this building? Um, Bob had spoken to a developer who has expressed an interest in it. But I think that's one of the reasons that we got pulled back for some more studies. Yeah, that, there's a lot that, of things that got to something we need. That, so, but that's not the topic of today. Just ask a question today. on this. So, twenty thousand is coming from the capital improvement mm -hmm. fund. Where's the other five? Taxation. Taxation. Doesn't, doesn't it usually say that? Oh, yeah. Well, no. then when you're raising and appropriating the twenty-five thousand, that means it's going to come out of taxation unless you have something that tells you where else it's going to come from. Well, so, twenty-five so, is, is would be taxation if. Right, but, but 20 didn't go. Say, there's 5,000 from taxation. Yeah, yeah because right. the well, I asked that question and I was shut down, so. Well, I, apologies. I don't, I don't feel like I shut you down. But um, if you want to look at previous town reports, you know, I, I've been looking through them and I, I didn't find that to be the case. Um, it certainly can be the case. I think you can get more explicit about it. I think it's clear to the taxpayer. I saw that. It's well, on the on the police cruiser, you have it listed as a thousand dollars coming from. I taxation. did that at the request of the board right. because the board thought that ought to, ought to be more clear on that one. Because it it, it changed, it's in the dollar amount changed, so we wanted to make sure that they knew that one thousand was going to come out. I would recommend that we do the same for that one. You can change it. Because you're right, Michelle. I mean, I think, and Ed might speak to that too. In the past, it was broken out if it came from capital, and then what portion came from um, taxation? Well, the way this is written here, I would interpret this as 5000 from the current taxation and 20000 from the capital improvement. And mm -hmm. uh, so we're putting up $5,000 to make repairs on it. So, uh, what, you know, if it, if we don't do anything, it, 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 it'll coin up. And then we're going to have to spend 5000 just to even put bail water on and hold it together until next year. So, I, at first I was, because I, I was looking where I could cut things, but I would, I would support it, spending 5000 five, putting 500 in there, 5000 in there. <coughs> Because we have right to have something in there to fix it. And if it's as bad as you're saying, well, to be clear, I think we're going to have to spend some money on it. No, and the question was should we clearly state that 5000 is coming from taxation instead of having them try to figure out where the other 5000 is coming from? If we can still amend it at this time, I would always say to give more clarity to yeah, the tax. Yeah, I agree. But my understanding is that we're not talking about, mm, well, yeah, amending the 
Sorry, I thought you said men, like fix the boiler. <laughs> <laughs> fix the boiler. Sorry. Why are you taking the intent? <laughs> Got it. And you're not Sorry. changing the dollar amount, so it's just being more clear about where yeah. the other money's going to come Correct. from. Yeah. So we can change that, right? Any other discussion on the town hall boiler? Article 11. We'll go for a vote. Uh, Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kim? Yes. Uh, Michelle? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Charlie? Yes. Frank? Yes. And that is... Uh, one, two, three, that's, that's everybody. ten, and I'll abstain since it's passing. The next one is, the next article is Article 12, which is the radios for the fire department. Um, do we have a motion on that? Motion to accept. Bill has a motion to accept, to uh, recommend. Recommend. Uh, second. A second by a second. Paul. Uh, discussion. I have Michelle. a question because I wasn't here and I apologize for that. Is the 25000 still in the operating budget for radios? Also? 15, it, yeah, it's 15. It's, the, it's part of a, a dual line of, of you know, where other things are bought from. But 15 is 3 is coming out of the operating budget, yeah. and 13 is coming out of 13, right? Did yeah. he originally ask for five though out of his operating? No, oh. only three. Oh, really? And he's and he's going to keep hopefully keep it in his operating budget until he uh -oh. gets all of him in, all of his uh, older radios replaced. And kind of keep it. Frank says Frank, Frank. So how many I'm Frank, sorry. did you have a question? How many radios are yeah. talking about? Yeah, they're they're sixteen total. Thirteen. Three calling again. Someone's calling in. Because they're five thousand apiece. Yeah. But in case, because we don't, we know what they are today. But when this gets passed, we don't know what if the price will go up because of the first year or whatever. I don't know. So whatever he can get with this money and the money that he has in his operating budget. And he said, I thought there was two in the operating budget. Yeah, there's, there's three. three. There's two because the MOU. MOU is part of that fifteen. Yeah. Is it correct three or two? Two. She's it's a fifteen thousand dollar line, yeah. and um, forty four hundred is for the MOU. Oh, sorry. So, I thought so he's three. got two in operating. So he's only getting two in there. So he's and it's thirteen in the capital item. So he's that. gonna have um, fifteen total. Yes. Okay. My apologies. <coughs> Any other discussion on Article Twelve? Okay. Yes, I'm so sorry. Um, so it's 65 plus 10,000, so the total 55 from tax insurance and 10 from capital. So the total amount is 75,000 for No, no, no. 65. 65. 65,000 is offset by 10. One. Offset by 10. Okay. And that's where and further See, oh, that's to authorize tax. That's the withdrawal that's for this purpose. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, same thing. It's it's like 55 is from taxation on that. Yeah. And I think that is now I just perfect. You're just an example. You go. I think right. offset used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. so do we agree to modify this one too to clarify that? Just make it clear. I think that's mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. like perfect. It sounds like they will. It's gone again. Don't get away from the pool. And you just get the spot. He's crazy. I'm just going to okay. try and get. Frank back on the line here to do the vote.
Sorry about that. Ed, what's Sorry your... about that. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's excellent, too. Ed, what's your pleasure on Article 12, which is the radio to the fire department? Uh, I'm going to go with the negatives. No. Okay. Um, I see what I did. I started on the wrong line. Um, Frank, we're voting on Article 12, the, the radios. Do you have a, what's your vote, yes or no, or abstain? Yeah. It's a yes. So we have one, two, three, four, five uh, yeses and one, two, three, four, five noes. I will vote uh, yes. And the motion carries. Okay. Article 13, uh, capital improvement is a uh, motion from somebody? Motion to accept. Can make a motion to, to recommend and uh, seconded by <coughs> Michelle. <coughs> Any discussion? I have one point and I, and I think I made it before. Is, Last year during a town meeting when this got brought up and we were going through the articles and how much was coming from CIP and back and then almost everything was coming from CIP. So it's nothing with the taxation. So everybody's going along uh, and all of a sudden we get to the uh, funding, the capital improvement reserve and it was $179,000 and everybody said, wait a minute, we just approved all these things thinking it was going to be no impact to the bottom line. So I think it should be made clear during the, during the, SP2 sessions that, that that's how this works and it, the way it falls after these other ones someone ought to say something before uh, as we're going through I, I feel that I mean I understand why we're doing it and we could have this year because the what we're funding capital improvement is less than what we're taking out it almost seemed to me like wh why were we doing it that way but I know it's a, it's a standard thing to, to fund it every year and, and that's that's fine too but it's just can do it. You can look at it different ways, and I think it needs to be explained. <coughs> That's my only point on that. Um, do we have any other discussion on this one? Just and again, um, the one seventy nine four was. We're, we're on the one before that, fourteenth of them. Oh no, we're on the one seventy nine four. I'm sorry. It's okay. That number is derived from. What your plan is? What our plan is? No, that has for next year or this year. No, the 179 is not covering what we're buying this year. Right. No, that's it that's partly that's sort of is. So. Mm. Because you don't have enough in your account. So we do have enough in we the account. It's account. just about how the, the money is allocated in the account. So it, it kind of doesn't matter, and it kind of does. Um, but if you look at the spreadsheet, which the board has not updated since making the recommendations of what to purchase. Um, well, they got an updated copy of just 2020. They didn't get the 10-year plan yet. They got well, what we are going to buy. I, I understand, I understand. But if you, if you were to look at the full spreadsheet now, right. which is essentially the 2018 copy, it's kind of like a year old, mm -hmm. not updated, um, there is money, so there's a column for how much money are you putting into what projects this year. Right. There is money going into the truck, and yet we're taking it all out of capital. So it's kind of a little bit of a swap, though it's not an even swap. I think you're putting like 10 or 15 in, and then you're taking it all out, something like that. So, um, but, it, but she sent an offset document. In one of your emails, there was an offset document that described that. Well, well, I have, a, I have a little table at the bottom of that big spreadsheet that shows offsetting funds for what's planned to be purchased. But in the top of that, in the spreadsheet, it's a whole 10-year plan for how much money, which year, for which project. Um, and there is, to be clear, since somebody asked it, money going into the truck this year that we are planning to purchase this year completely out of CIP. Um, so if, it doesn't, if this Warren article doesn't get approved, the truck is still going to be purchased with funds that are in CIP from that were designated for another project. Correct. Okay, that's where I want to make sure that they understand. Yes. They're, we're taking all of the money out of CIP regardless because if, the, if that article passes. But the money 
will help put back if we had to take from right. somebody else. Wh which is why yes. the board needs to reallocate how much money is currently allocated for, for all the projects. Right. And, and so the way it was originally set up was a progression of progressively actually more money every year so that at some point you are evenly funding by taxation an even amount Understanding of course, like relatively even, understanding that there's inflation that causes purchases to cost more every year. Um, but note that there are, um, there's $3.5 million worth of assets that's, that are currently listed in that fund. So if you divide that by 10, it's not 179. So, so I just want to note that to your point about how much we're putting in, because last year, you're right, all the capital items were completely offset by the fund. This year they're not because we're kind of going a little bit backwards. If the if the goal is still to get to an even every year um, funding. Right. Backwards in that we're spending more out of CIP than we're putting in. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's concerning. <coughs> so ideally what you're saying is if you'd rather have a reserve in your CIP every year when, it, when, when you, you're done, a good reserve where you can pull off it years going The point forward. of it is to build it up. Right. Well, and, and the, you know, but, but 10, also... 10000 up to 30000 up to 50000 but, but also in balance what, with what the, you know, what's going on with the school and what's going on with the operating budget and so that you have this... And what's going on with the master plan, with the planning department? Like, what are all the goals of the town? Talk about them individually prioritize them at the select board level so that you are having like a five-year plan or a ten-year plan that integrates all of those things and it's reflected in all of these planning documents, for example, the roads. So that, yes, as much as possible, you're increasing in a level way until at some point you are as level as possible so that you don't get, you know, ebbs and flows and craziness in the tax rate. Yeah, the one I have yeah. is 2017. I don't know... If I probably didn't download the 18, but I have the 2017 one that kind of shows the 10-year plan of mm -hmm. projections. And there were a lot of increases to the CIP plan, and that's what's upping the, the value, and so we couldn't possibly take right. 10 years. Yeah, I got 2018. Well, and, 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 and I wouldn't want to claim that that's actually no, a no, comprehensive list of all not. the things that we should be planning on right. either. You know. Just as a, as a point, um, on December 5th when Denise presented the CIP, there was the, the line items that added up to the 179. Mm -hmm. um, yep. 174. Right. So that, that information is, has been provided to us. And CIP will be, and as soon as Miles gets it done, I'm going to make sure you all get a copy of it, but it, he's working on it now, oh, so. But we will have an updated document. Okay, is there further discussion on Article 13? We will vote. Um, Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kim? Yes. Michelle? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Charlie? Yes. yes. Frank? Yes. And the, the yeses have it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, Article 14, uh, Town Revaluation Capital Reserve. Do I have a motion for that? Move to recommend. From Bill? Got to that down. <laughs> Second. Second from Emily. Discussion? I just, it, this is, is, this is a separate fund and not CIP, correct? Correct. How far are we projecting and before we are funded for this? Is it five years? Five years. It's every five years, yeah. so this will be the first It's the first year of the five-year plan. Well, it, it's, so it's broken into four payments because oh, it's four we years. skipped the, okay. the payment that, for the year that it was done. Okay. So we're up in 2023. Okay. Other questions? Ready for a, a vote? Uh, Bill? Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Ed? Yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kim? Yes. Michelle? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Charlie? Yes. Frank? Yes. And the yeses have it. I will understand. Article 15, culvert repair and replacement. Do we have a motion to recommend? I'll recommend. I'll second. Do we have discussion? Hearing none, we'll go for a vote. Uh, Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kim? Yes. Michelle? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Charlotte? Yes. Frank? Yes. And I'll abstain and it passes. Article 16, Conservation Land Trust Capital Reserve Fund. Do I have a motion to recommend? I move to recommend. Second. Second time, Michelle. Uh, discussion? Nancy? My only question is, is now, this isn't going to have any effect on the taxes, correct? Correct. It's, there's nothing from taxation on this one, because the $10,000 is going to be taken out of the land use change? Correct. Should we need it? Mm -hmm. Kim, did you have a question? Sorry. According my eye, I thought about the movement. Any other questions or discussion on um, Article 16? Okay. Uh, ready for a vote? Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kim? Yes. Michelle? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Charlie? Yes. Je <laughs> Frank? Yes. <laughs> and I'll abstain and it passes. Article 17, land surveys and related expenses. Do I have a motion? Move to recommend. Move to recommend from Bill. Second. Second from Nancy. Discussion. Again, this is no no taxation from this one. Five thousand. No. It Five comes thousand. out. It comes out of trust fund. Yeah. No taxation. So there's no taxation on this uh, on this article. You need to write that on there too. It's not a bad idea for the last two because yeah. I was, you let, asked the question I was going to ask, so I didn't yeah, ask Yeah, to be sure, because the, the clarity's not there, but, but I knew because of seeing this so many times right. okay. that I knew, but someone new would not know that right. it has so, no impact on taxes. And we, we used to put, or yeah. somebody used to put it in parentheses. Yeah, it used to. So can we add that back in? Any more discussion? Ready for a vote? Bill? Yes. Denise? Yes. Ed? Yes. Emily? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kim? Yes. Michelle? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Charlie? Yes. Joe? Uh, <laughs> Frank? It's okay. Yes. Easy to do. Pass. Uh, that, the motion passes. I'll have to stay. Well, folks. That was the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a um, clarification. So I came up with a dollar five tax impact um, for all of the articles. That's what I came up with. That's what I did too. Plus, and then 58, 58 cents for uh, the operating budget. I, I'm not going to agree or disagree with you. Um, um, how can we not tell people what the tax impact is going to be? We, you're right, we're in a horrible situation this year, as you've been experiencing from your, you know, errors and, you know, not a lot of documentation, and we're doing the best we can with it, and it's going to be whatever it's going to be. Did you say those numbers again? Sorry. A dollar five for all the warrants. Yep. And 58 cents Sorry. for the operating budget. So, to explain, it's, it, it is a very simple equation in principle. How much do you have to raise by taxation, and you divide that by the valuation? So we did the back of the envelope and we got the 58 cents. But then Suzanne volunteered, and I am grateful, that she is entering everything into um, the Department of Revenue website for us. That calculation of 
all of the appropriations and all the Warren articles and all of the revenues and all the transfers in and everything else comes up with a different number. What did you come up She came up with a dollar thirty-four. Oh. Um, well, that's you mean is that with the operating budget? Honestly, I don't know. Okay. Um, so I haven't had time to proof what she's done, and I don't have any reason offhand not to believe her. But I can't compare it to this year. Um, there, so, so the how you come up with how much money you have to raise, you know, although it is, you know, expenses and revenue, there are a lot of different numbers that go into expenses and revenue. And so I haven't had a chance to, you know, I, I understand where the 58 cents comes from, and I'm not rescinding how that got calculated. It's, it's not as though I don't believe in that anymore. But she has a valid point that I'm, you know, I, I can't tell you what number she's including or not including that comes up with a different figure, and I can't discredit her calculation either. Maybe we should call another town and well, find she, out what they do. You talk to the I department. talked to the Department of Revenue. Mm -hmm. I can't talk to another town because I understand the principles. It's not about the principles. It's about the actual numbers and taking the time to look through all the actual numbers. Um, and it's all in the DRA website because you enter this year after year. They have all the data. It's just about, um, I, I've, I've asked her to do an approximation, of a, an approximation, our municipal advisor at the Department of Revenue. She does not have time to do that immediately. She will try to get to it and help us. They have three municipal advisors for all the cities and towns and village districts in the state. I don't know if she'll be helpful. I will continue to pursue that option. She should be able to tell us at least an order of magnitude about whether or not we're closer to one number than the other. But, you know. Was the, was the 134 the total, or was the 58 on top of that? I don't know. I believe that Suzanne's calculation is $1.34 on the operating budget only. Um, I believe that is what she is asserting. I don't know that I can believe that or not no, believe not that. But, I, but at the same time, you know, um, you know, like I said, I haven't proofed her numbers that she put into the website, but at the same time, she has all the materials. I don't have any reason to not believe in what she's done so far. So I just can't speak to why hers might be wrong or why what I provided before might be wrong. That would be horrible because that's over $2 on per thousand. It, it's not going to be both combined. It's not both combined. It's well, you said 134 for the operating budget. <coughs> well, okay, you're right. So 58 for the... No, 134 for the operating budget. Including the warrants. Right, which is 58, right? No, warrants are $1.05. The warrants are $1.39. Yeah, oh. There's something wrong there. Yeah, something. Mabel, yeah. Is that a number that we can get at some point before we go? I would hope we'd get it by the second. I, I certainly that. hope so. I can't promise that, you know, because, you know, there's a lot going on in here, and, and it's all yeah. regulated, and it's all important, and I'm doing the best I can, and that's it, as much as I can. It's, that. it's not an easy, it's not sure. an easy thing. No. It's going to take hours. I understand to... that, but is there a way that we could get something that says this is our best estimate of what we think it's going to be? Well, it's the same thing. Like, it's, it's hours in proofing what she did okay. and hoping the municipal advisor yep. can weigh in and, and figuring out what she has included or not including that I missed in, in the previous. It's, you know, she's got oranges. I think they're right. I've got apples. I think they're right. I don't know how they relate to each other. Um, so, so you know, I, I certainly hope so is all I can say. Okay. Um, so I want to ask the guy who's been, who did it for 40 years before, what, how did you approach calculating impact? Was it the, the, the taxation amount divided by the assessment? What I did four years ago. That's fine. Just I'm, I don't want to say right now, and I have to go back and look at what I did. I, okay. Fair enough. But uh, I, I, I didn't. I didn't seem to have the problem that. Uh, I, I had the problem up times they didn't jive, but after a couple of generations, we we found out what was the problem. I don't know why there's a why there's a big issue of why it should be difficult to find out. Do you remember 
gone through the iterations yet. It, it's not really that it's difficult. It's just that it's um, it is a bit complicated. There are a lot of numbers involved. It's really more about time as much as anything. And do you remember the formula you used? Well, the, the, what what the ta what the impact was going to be the uh, state and Sackman's office. We always agreed. But you don't remember the formula. because I wasn't sure of the quite the same. And that's how the school came up with their evaluation. And they, so that's how the airline did it, too. Right. It sounds like and that is how the website is doing it, too. Right. But, but there's, you know, the, the select board uses overlay to offset the tax rate. Um, there are other things that affect, um, like there are war service credits that, that are on the books that, that affect valuation. Um, all of these transfers from trust funds are considered revenue. Um, so when you calculate change over last year, was that change over last year considering this revenue or that revenue? You know, versus when you lay out, you can do the back of the envelope with, you know, change in expenses and change over re in revenue and dividing that over valuation. And that's, you know, that's simple. Um, as long as you understand how the last year's was calculated. So when you're considering change, you're considering all the factors. So, so yes, that's absolutely the formula, but there's the, the shorthand of that, and then there are all of the numbers that you can enter into that equation to get there, you know, the more precise way. It's, it's kind of like the stick figure drawing and the portrait, you know. What, what, have you had Tom involved in the auditor? Yeah, that's my, that's, I, I intend to go to him as well. I, I mean, ask him anything we did yeah. back when I was there, it, yeah. it had to jive with the state and it had to jive with the auditor. And he should be helpful. He still does. I mean, he's audit going on right now. I imagine the numbers have to jive. They still but he, is, he agreed to the 58. Well, he did agree with the 58 yes. because he understands the principle, but right. also he's not aware of the numbers that Suzanne entered and how she may or may not be right. So um, he's also not here for the rest of the week, but he'll be in. He'll be back in next week, and it's not really his job, but you know he's nice, and I, I will ask him, and I think he'll probably. Be but it could be because she's entering them into the computer. It could be a transposition of numbers. It could well, be any of those right. things. Right. Doing this faulty. <coughs> we just need to prove it, and if I can right. Help, it, yeah, yeah, thank you. Well, on a different subject that we're good there, what is our our next move? Um, what are our responsibilities under SB2? Are we still doing anything? Are we sitting up front? Or what, what's, no. or, are we done here? Is this, we're done. We're SB, done. Yeah, SB2 okay. is the select board sitting up front, the budget committee. Okay, they, so they, we're, they, they, we're on the side. I, they, they were typically on the side. So this is yeah. like town meeting. So the deliberative yeah. session is, is the first session of town meeting. Mm -hmm. And the second session is the voting booth on the 12th of March. Okay. So I would say we're duplicating what would happen at traditional town meeting on Saturday, which is the budget committee on the side and the select board on the front. So we still have involvement then? We I should. would say on that level because this is your budget. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because it's the budget committee's budget that goes okay. to the public. But otherwise, there are no more official meetings of the budget committee 
for this cycle. But it's yep. only been the last two, three years that the budget committee has ever sat along the side. That's right. But that was because the school was in SB2. I think that's when they kind of no. started it. No, school didn't have us do it until Suzanne wanted us to do it for town. Oh, it was Suzanne? Mm -hmm. I thought it was because of... I okay, the school the board SB2. and the select board don't sit on the side on ours. I don't plan on sitting on the side on the Saturday and the 5th. I will be in the audience. This is a public hearing, and that's where I'll be. It's not a public hearing, to be clear. Well, it's yeah, it's a little good every sense. It's not a town hall, essentially. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, I'm not going to be sitting on the side. That's we knew but it was dead, and then all of a sudden, yeah. I yeah, think no, it was no. Byrne who started that. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you. Okay. Oh, this is um, well, I, I just got one thing. Yeah. Sure. Um, well, first of all, it's my first year on the budget committee, so I thank everybody for all the questions because I've learned a lot from all of you. Um, second of all, Kim kind of struck a tone, and I just would like to reiterate that this is the first year, but her number is sixty six hundred thousand dollars over five years. Five years, one hundred twenty one hundred twenty thousand dollars every it's year. It's actually five hundred ninety-four thousand. Well, it's rounded off. So, yeah. so I have to agree. You know, that's something that's concerning. $120,000 every year, the budget's gone up for five years, so just want to, those, no, those words on the closing note are something to consider. Yeah, and I, I think it would be interesting to see, and I haven't gone back and done that, but when you brought up before, what is it? That, I mean, I know yeah. we're spending more on roads right now than... That, that excludes roads. That excludes roads. The, the 350 for the roads this year. Right. So, so yeah, it would be interesting. It'd be interesting to see where, where, what's creeping yeah, up. It's a good thing to be aware of. Um, I agree. And did anybody else get the little flyer that the town sent out? Well, it no. has like the schedule of events, you know, the quarterly newsletter. Oh, yeah, we got no. it. Yeah, you're talking of in the tax. Bill. The only thing is the I newsletter that goes in your tax bill. Tax bill. Or maybe it was in the tax bill. Yeah, that yeah, was but the, the dates are different than what we have. Correct. For date. Okay, so I'm not the only one that saw that. It can't be a tax bill. It's What's the being done about quarterly that? that's done. Right. Sent, it, they call it the it's quarterly, but it's maybe. done. Once a year. Yeah, wrong dates. I don't know. But that that's not good. It's, a, it's, it's the, the newsletter. Bill. Yeah, it's the town's December. newsletter. Right, in December. December. So, I mean, a lot of these dates have shifted yeah. since yeah. then. So, I mean, yeah, we should try to get them right. But well, we're sending, out a, we're sending out a... Uh, They're all separately, okay. individually posted. Yeah. You know. On the um, when you go on the website I today, it's big and red and pops out at you. Here's the and schedule. Okay. Charlie, yeah. did you see that on the website? What? The, the dates? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't, but I have somebody that keeps me up to date pretty good. And she's doing a damn good job at it. Point taken. Not everybody looks at the website. Exactly. Exactly. But it just. I, I, any, uh, so, does that motion still stand? To motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, All in favor? Do we have to? Can we just... Consensus. Not? Consensus. Aye. 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 Yeah. And it's wrong in the post office? Yeah. It's not the post. No, but the actual the $30,000 that you want to get for radios could go to the message board instead of the Well, we could pay for most of the radios for that.